welcome to the first podcast for my channel welcome guys welcome back i'm here with my brother jacob what's up <laughs> today we are going to be talking about a few topics thanksgiving football um video games and weather so i'm really excited to share that with you guys so let's go ahead and get started into thanksgiving so jacob are you going to be watching the macy's parade uh i'll be i'll be checking it out a little bit i'll be looking at what stuff they put on you know yeah. trays and stuff are always interesting to watch and you know stuff like that do you think they'll have some of the same uh uh floats as they did in past events not sure i would like to see some different floats and stuff more interesting things like that yeah um very excited for thanksgiving you know um what type of main foods like do you absolutely hate for thanksgiving you know not not a big fan of turkey and i'm gonna be honest i like thanksgiving itself I'm just not a fan of the thanksgiving food particular i'm not a huge turkey guy um ham's pretty good you know other thanksgiving stuff like that um yeah um okay um, what is your most, like, favorite meal that people serve at Thanksgiving? My favorite meal that you could, I could probably get from Thanksgiving? Hmm. I would say probably ham. Yeah. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese yeah. and ham, you know, maybe green like. Green beans. Yeah, green stuff beans. Stuff like, like that. All the normal, like, things people would serve. Okay, speaking of which. Since we're on that topic of Thanksgiving, what are your thoughts on COVID? Like, if you're with your family, do you have to be vaccinated and all that stuff? Well, you know, I would say that uh, just take precautions and stuff, you know. We, you know, COVID is a real deal. And, um, you know, I think, it, you know, vaccination thing is a choice thing. Um, stuff like that. Feel safe, you know. I wouldn't say for no reason gather with so many people, but... I would say it's not a bad thing to hang out with family this Thanksgiving. I think COVID's died down a little bit. So do you think that, like, you have to be vaccinated in order to hang out with your family? Like, No. Okay. Vaccination, in my opinion, is a choice. Okay. That is totally fine. That's your opinion. Um, and so with the COVID thing, do you, do you think that... Um, that like you should wear masks. Like what do you, what are your views on it? It's your views. I don't care. But. Well, I would say that every household is different. They can have their opinions on whether or not they want to have a mask. Um, you know, personally, our family, I don't think they would really care and stuff like that. But I would say it's a household thing that people need to make the decision themselves and decide whether or not they want to wear a mask or not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now let's skip off of that topic and go straight into the Chiefs. How oh, do you think baby. the Chiefs are doing this year? Oh, baby, 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 has it been a rocky season. Sitting right now at 7-4, and four. I'm excited for this topic. All right, so if you're a Chiefs fan, uh, you probably have seen that it's been a little bit of a rocky season, you know. The whole team has sort of just been a little off it's just been an off season uh we started off with a win against the browns very close game yeah a one point loss against the ravens was heartbreaking very close loss to the chargers and then it kind of just spiraled out of control afterwards we were struggling against the eagles for a while we got beat badly by the bills badly by the titans but i think these past couple weeks you know we took down the Packers. Uh, granted, they didn't have Aaron Rodgers, which is true, but we did come out with a win either way. We definitely took care of business against the Raiders, and definitely, as this past week, took care of business against the Cowboys. Do you think our defense has like improved from the past games? Absolutely, and something that I would agree that a lot of people have seen, Chris Jones needs to be a defensive tackle. He needs to stay inside. I think he does a lot better getting pressure on the quarterback. And I think what they put towards on this Cowboys offense, which, by the way, has been the highest scoring offense of the season. Uh, Dak Prescott's been amazing and great offensive thing. And, of course, they were missing some players. C.D. Lamb was out early in the game. Um, they were missing Amari Cooper and a few other key players on that line. But at the end of the day, the Chiefs did get the win. 
Yes, they did. So, do you think that they are, like, improving slowly, but, like, do you think they are Super Bowl worthy? Like, do you think they they can make it to the Super Bowl this year? Well, you know, that's kind of a, uh, you know, that's a little bit more of a tougher thing to talk about because you look at our playoff race right now, like, so many things are happening in the AFC that are that are crazy. The Titans just lost to the Texans. The Ravens have been struggling a little bit. You know, these top teams, the Bills got demolished by the Colts, 41-15. Uh, there is one team that has absolutely surprised me in the AFC, and that is the Patriots. They just got their quarter, new quarterback, Mac Jones, who has been a stud and has been absolutely amazing in this uh this season mm -hmm. patriots have been a very good team and i definitely think that they could take the division away from the bills and that would be an interesting turn of events yeah uh, as for the chiefs being super bowl contenders it depends on what kind of chiefs we get we know we know what the chiefs are capable of they have the talent they have the drive i believe to make the super bowl I did at the beginning of the season predict that the uh, Chiefs and the Rams will play for Super Bowl 56, but, you know, we still got a lot of football to play. We still got a lot more games to see of the Chiefs. Uh, I would say if the Chiefs continue playing with the way they do, um, you know, we fire on all cylinders. I think I think the Chiefs definitely could go to the Super Bowl for three years in a row. Yeah, makes sense. Um, so... In your opinion, at the beginning of the year, you know, at the beginning of the season of football, we really did not have the best team. Um, do you personally think that if we still had the team that we did before and didn't improve, would you think that we would even have a chance of going to this? Uh, uh, do you think that we would even have a chance of going to the uh, playoffs? Uh, I definitely think we do. Um, our remaining schedule gets a lot easier. We started off very with very difficult opponents, playoff opponents. Uh, these coming up weeks, we've got a lot more easier opponents. We still got some tough ones. Like, so coming up, we got the Broncos. We're gonna be hosting the Broncos. Then we at the week after, we're gonna hosting the Raiders. Then we got to travel to Los Angeles and play the Chargers, which could be a tough one. Uh, then we host the Steelers. Um. After Christmas, that'll be a fun game, a game I'm very looking forward to. Um, then we play the Bengals, and then we wrap it up, wrap up the season with the Broncos. And hopefully at the end of all that, we will have a playoff spot. Yeah. So, okay, we are first in the division right now, right? That's correct. Okay. You said if, um, who else is, like, the runner-up behind the Chiefs? So, uh, right now, we have two teams, or they're, they're uh, the division of four, of course. You got the Broncos in last place, uh, sitting at five and five. The Raiders are in third at five and five. Uh, right now, the Chargers are our biggest threat right now. They're sitting at six and four. They defeated us back in week three, which that means they have a tiebreaker over us. Meaning, this coming up week, we really need the Broncos to beat the Chargers. Otherwise, the Chargers will be first in the division as of the week. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so, who else in, like, the whole entire, like, division and everything um, is doing decent like what are the five top teams in your opinion that are doing amazing this season should we can talk about afc uh man you know there's so many good teams going on right now you know we got the afc east you know the bills are at a struggling point they're st i still think they're a good football team they just haven't having some struggles the patriots are a very good football team now again i think the patriots even are without... back in it. And I've even made some jokes. I, I made a joke earlier to myself saying, like, you know, the evil empire with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick's, you know, over now that he left. And it's like the first order is now here with Mac Jones. I mean, they're just back in it. I definitely think the Patriots are making the playoffs this year. Yeah. Um, As for the AFC West, I definitely think two teams will come from that. I do believe the Chiefs will make the playoffs. Um, It is close, so I think we might take a wild card if not win the division i think it will be chiefs and chargers in the playoffs in our division this year um afc north 
I think I'm going to say that the Ravens do pull out with the division, and I think the Steelers and Bengals will have to fight for a wild card spot. Uh, the Browns are still there, but I don't really see the Browns fixing their mistakes. I think that they're just going to unfortunately miss the playoffs this year after a great year last year. Um, and then we got the AFC South. I, I thought it would be a one-man running show with the team. Uh, the Titans... They're missing Derrick Henry. He's out for a while, probably the whole season. Um, and then you got the Colts, who are just on fire. So that's going to be a fight. And I think without Derrick Henry, I think the Colts take the division of the AFC South, and the Titans maybe make a wild card. Yeah. Um, that's that's my predictions. All right. Um, so we know that Thanksgiving is technically tomorrow. Um, all day, you know, fun. Uh, but speaking on the football fact, we know that there are three uh, games that are happening tomorrow, Bears versus Lions. Who do you think will win that? Well, you know, this is a uh, NFC North matchup between the Bears and the Lions. Uh, look, the Bears, they have Andy Dalton, who did play last week. Um, then they got their backup, Justin Fields, who shows promise. But, you know, the Bears are the Bears, and they kind of are a sloppy football team. Yeah. But not as bad as the Lions. The Lions right now are sitting at 0-9-1, tying with the Steelers two weeks ago and then losing last week. Um, between the two, you know, it is, a, it is a divisional matchup, and divisional matchups can go either way usually. I am going to go with a safer bet, and I'm going to say that the Bears do win this game. I agree with you, Jacob. Okay. The next game that we'll be playing is the Raiders versus the Cowboys. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting game. Who do you think is going to win? Well, I think that the, uh, you know, the Raiders have been at a slump losing three in a row. They lost to the Giants a few weeks back, then the Chiefs, and then they just lost last week to the Bengals, 32-13. to Cowboys lost to the Kansas City Chiefs, as you know, 19-9. It has been, it was a low-scoring game, defensive battle, um, I think the Cowboys have a little bit more fire, and, and you know they will be missing Amari Cooper again out with COVID. Um, I do think that the Cowboys are the better team, and I am going to go with the Cowboys to win this game. Interesting. I'm on the other line with you. I think I'm. I think I'm going with the Raiders are going to win that game. Okay. The next game after that comes the Bills versus the Saints. This is the last game that we'll play tomorrow. So who do you think will win? Yeah, probably the most uh, interesting matchup between all the Thanksgiving games. Bills and Saints. Man, man, man. Bills have had some struggles, you know. They lost, last, like I said, last week to the Colts 41-15. Um, Josh Allen, I still think, is a top-five quarterback, in my opinion, in yeah. the league at the moment. Uh, you got the Saints, who are missing Jameis Winston. They've got some players out, you know. Hopefully, Alvin Kamara will be able to play um, this coming up week. Um, I think it'll be a very good game and a very interesting matchup. I am going to give the slight advantage to the Bills. I think the Bills will pull out the win, especially they do need they they need this win if they want to compete with the Patriots for the AFC East. Yeah, um, I think I'm agree with you. The Bills probably will have the chance of winning, but I am not for sure. So. Speaking of the Thanksgiving thing, so out of all these three teams, which one do you think is going to be your favorite to watch? Uh, I think the Bills and Saints game will be the most fun game to watch. Um, of course, you know, the Cowboys-Raiders game as a Chiefs fan, I'm going to be rooting for the Cowboys, hoping the Raiders lose, not only to help our my team's chances of making the playoffs, but because... I'm not a Raiders fan. Yeah. Uh, but I think out of all these games, the Bills and Saints game will be the most fun game. All right. That clears up our discussion on the Chiefs and football. So let's go ahead and wrap up that discussion and go on to the video game section of our topic. So the topic number three, we're going to start to talk about Siege Extraction. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, it looks like a fun game. I've seen some gameplay and stuff. I think they got some cool mechanics. Uh, I absolutely loved back in uh, year three of Siege when they introduced in Operation Chimera the Outbreak event. It was very fun and 
innovative. And it was just a great time. Yeah. And I think they did a great job in what they've added. Some great new features. Bringing back the operators we know and love today. I think it looks like a very fun game. I am interested in trying it. Would you get it? I I would get it. It just looks like something I will get. I will get it. I'll All be right. It. All right. That sounds pretty cool. So on the speaking of Siege, do you think they are slowly dying with all these remakes that they are doing to the game and all these nerfs on the guns and stuff? Do you think they are slowly dying? You know, in the case of slowly dying, I don't know exactly if they. I would use the term dying. I will say that the player base is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, in my opinion, they just keep making some changes that I just don't see right for the game. One example, when I just came back to the game recently, I didn't like the idea of there being no uh, notification of you being injured. You know, of like getting points for the injury. Yeah. I think that I, I there might be have a reason for it. I don't see a purpose of the change and stuff like that. But they have done some really good eye things. I think the uh, what they did with elite skins and how you can use any skin you want for elite skins is very cool and something yeah. that probably should have been out a while ago, but. It's interesting, and uh, as for reworks and stuff, you know, uh, some reworks are good, some are not. Um, there are rumors about uh, in year seven of next year for Siege, uh, they're finally bringing a new map in, which will be interesting. I'm, um, you know, excited. Um, we got a new operator coming with the new season, Thorn. Definitely spice up the meta. She's another trap operator, but a little bit more versatile. Interested to see how the gameplay will work with Siege. Yeah. Um, speaking about Siege, again, um, one more thing. What was your least favorite re rework on one of the maps? Uh, in my opinion, that's a very easy one. I would go with Favela. The Favela rework is definitely probably the worst reworked map I have played on as of late. Um, yeah, the layout is just too confusing. It... She completely changed the simplicity of how Favela worked. Favela was an easy to learn map. You can play it for like two matches and got it. And I'm still playing it and still don't know where rooms are. Yeah. Um, what was the sad like rework? I think for me it would be the house rework. I really was upset by that. House rework was an emotional rework, you know. House old house will always hold a special place in my heart. Great time, you know, great map. In my opinion, casual. They changed it for ranked rework stuff, but you know, I personally am more of a casual player. And as a casual, as a casual player, it's a good map, in my opinion. Yeah. Um. So with all these nerfings on characters, how are your thoughts on it? Um. I think uh, there honestly isn't any character at the moment that I've been playing that I feel is just out of control, broken. You know. Um. There are some operators I just don't like playing. For example, I don't like playing Glass. Glass is just not fun to me. There, are, you know, but other like balancing wise and operator wise, you know, I'm not. I've been out of the loop with that game for a while, but yeah, it feels enjoyable, and I haven't really got a complaint over an operator and stuff. Yeah, um, who is the like one of the useless characters out of the whole entire character like things? Defense attackers. Who do you think is the useless? Well, I would say for attackers, the uh, most useless, in my opinion, off the top of my head, would probably have to go to uh, Nock, who his gadget is to is basically vigil, but for defender cameras. Yeah. Um, I just don't think he works very well. I don't really like her weapons. You know, as an as an attacker, yeah. you should have a choice of an actual assault rifle, not just a submachine gun. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, I personally think that Warden is the useless out of, you know, them. But on that topic of video games, we are going to go ahead and wrap up and talk about Dead by Daylight and how they got rid of the Stranger Things. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's sad. You know, I love Stranger Things. I'm glad I got it before, you know, it all went away. Yeah. Stranger Things is really cool. Uh, Probably one of the main reasons I got back into Dead by Daylight. I thought the addition of Stranger Things was very interesting with the killer de de the Demogorgon. And you got Steve Harrington and Nancy Wheeler in there. Uh, they brought interesting perks. They weren't the strongest perks, but, you know, it's always nice to have freshing content. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the map. And I understand the reason why they got rid of it due to licensing reasons. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but, you know, 
stuff like that happens. But I'm and... so glad we got the characters before they go went ahead and got rid of them. It's so saddening to see that they are gone. Um, but now that we're speaking about uh, video games, I actually want to introduce a like new topic that I did not write down. Uh, Jacob, how do you think about Apex? Like, uh, what are your thoughts on Apex? Apex. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, I'm not a very big Battle Royale person, and Apex has really got me into it, you know. I wasn't a big, I wasn't a big Fortnite fan. Um, never really, I tried PUBG, couldn't get into it. Tried H1Z1, you know, just wasn't interested. It Who, wasn't my type of style. Yeah. Who is one of your, like, favorite uh, characters to use? My favorite legend in Apex right now is Mirage. Mirage is my favorite legend of all the bunch. I uh, I like this kind of play style. I think he's the most relatable character. He's a funny character. He's yeah. a jokester. He's a he, he's just my favorite legend out of all of them. Um so I know nothing about Apex because I personally don't play it. So would you like to explain like wh is there different maps in Apex? Uh we there is. And actually with this latest season we are now in season 11, which is called the Escape. Mm -hmm. Uh we did just get a recent new map and right now we have a map pool of 4. Uh right now we only have two maps in rotation this season, but I can go ahead and describe the maps. Okay. Uh we got our original map that came with the game, we got Kings Canyon. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I'm sorry there's people coming in my house. Okay. Uh, continue. Okay, so we had uh, we had Kings Canyon, you know, the original map came out. Um, so it was, Kings Canyon is a it's a nostalgic type map, you know. Yeah. The playout doesn't really work as well as it did when it first came out. Uh, a lot of you know, it's more of a mountain terrain sort of area, not as much flat ground, a lot more hills and stuff. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, and then Continue. we then we had uh, then we have World's Edge, which came out in season three, um, and each map's gotten reworked multiple times. Um, World's Edge is probably my favorite map in the game right now, due to its uh, due, like just the way it plays out works very well. It's very clean. Uh, there's a lot more flat ground and a lot bigger of a map. So yeah. Uh, one of the biggest problems that plagues Apex, which is not really something they can 100% fix, is third parties. Okay. Um, are you completed with the Apex <laughs> the, uh, the topic? Um, we are going to wrap up the video game topic and move on to the final topic of the day. And the weather. Oh my goodness. Did you see how fall, like, the leaves, like, barely changed in Kansas City? Oh, welcome to the Midwest. Well, you never know what you're going to get, you know? It, the, the weather has know. been weird this uh, winter and fall. It was just really like, one day it could be like 70 and then it drops down to 30. Like, it's really insane. So, Jacob, do you think that there will be snow soon with the weather that we are having at the moment? You know, we'll see, you know? Depends on if we actually get winter weather soon, you know? Yeah. I'm a little more surprised we haven't gotten snow yet. You know, we usually we get snow around late October, sometimes November. And, you know, this seems like a year that we're a little slow on being getting cold. So I do think we'll get snow, of course, this winter. We always do. Yeah. Um, as of soon, I would say I would say we should get snow before Christmas. But we'll yeah. have to wait and see. My hopes are that we get snow on Christmas. Like, that would be a winter dream of mine. Um, but, like, think about it. Like, did you see this fall that, like, none of the leaves changed colors? And that was what's really surprising. And when they did, they didn't stay on the trees for very long. Yeah, it was, a, the season's been a little weird, you know. Uh, I will say weather has been very nice this fall. Yeah. Um, it's not been too hot. It's not been too cold. Um, I love summer. I'm not a big fan of the heat. But I like the fact in summer you can do a lot more than you can in the other seasons like winter. Winter is great, you know. Snow is fun to play in. Um, but too cold is a little too cold sometimes. Yeah. So I'm guessing summer is one of your favorite uh, seasons of all? Uh, summer is my favorite season. Um, my favorite season would have to be fall. I love fall. But this fall was really disappointing to me. Um, it didn't seem to last very long, and when it, like, started to change, all the leaves just fell, and it was so depressing. Um, but any other topics you want to talk about? I mean, 
Anything? Talk about whatever, you know. Uh, I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. And yes. I'll be more than glad to talk about more stuff uh, next time. Yeah, so thank you guys for listening in on my first ever podcast. Thank you, Jacob, for joining us on this wonderful podcast. And thank you guys for listening and see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.